Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bean Row Outdoors. So, we are going rabbit hunting today. My two favorite things, spring gobbler, rabbit hunt. Got my brother right there, JB. What's up? Got my nephew in the back, he's going too. Old Bowman. So, we're going to try to get out there, get some good chases and runs. Yeah, rabbit is good. We do enjoy it, but we love the chases and the runs. So, hopefully I can get y'all some good material today. And... Let's get out there. There you go. There you go. Come on out. Get my dogs. Get my dogs. Hey, there goes one. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Okay. So JB sees one sitting up there. He's got Bowman with him. Bowman's got his BB gun. He's gonna try to see if he can't pop him. Oh man. Which way did he go? Did he go out and down or out and up? <laughs> you see another one sitting? I can't. <laughs> Come here, hell, 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 hell. I did that time. Ah, uh, that was six, yeah. Oh, there goes another one. There it goes. I ain't, I ain't gonna pull those dogs off of this one. Big rabbits. Uh, ready, bud? Yeah, I'll, I'll put I'll put it in there, bud.
Did you get him, Byman? Huh? I said, did you get him, Byman? Oh, I know. I was joking. You're running right in here below. And he's down. He took off by the hill. You want to hold him? Right you want to carry him? Or? Yeah, put him in my bag. He was just a little slow on the trigger. All right. Yeah, dog's too heavy for you. I'll carry him. Dogs jump that one. Yeah. Go. go figure, he cut as soon as he went to that fence. Dude, that one caught me off guard. Had a rabbit just run right from Bowman. Straight through here, go through the fence, and then go down the hill. Come on, let's find out. Come on, here, 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 here. That was a marathon rabbit. He did, did he? Dang old. Good boy, Sam. He just caught one sitting. Really? We didn't even shoot that one. No. <laughs> Come here, Sam. Come down over the hill with rabbit in his mouth. Where's Daisy? I don't know. Come on, yeah. Come on, Daisy, yeah. Come here, Sam. Sam. Good boy, Sam. That's a, I mean, I don't know, maybe. That's crazy, man. We didn't shot and even got the weight on the table. Not that I know of. I mean, you shot that, that, that you shot that one. But is it dead? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Killed today, right? Oh yeah. Maybe it was that one. You, it's been shot. Look at his ear. I don't know. Maybe it's that one you shot the first one we jumped. Maybe, I don't know. And it just, he finally. Hey, hey dude, you can put him in my back. No, nah, here, I got him. Just put it in my back. Well, good that ain't too bad. Good boy, Sam. I hadn't oh, seen that in a while. Good boy, Sam. Green, right? Come on, Dave. Come on. Good boy, Sam. The dogs caught the rabbit, bud. Folks, I just want to show y'all something. Huh? We used to jump probably three to four oh. rabbits right here. Huh? And it has absolutely just been destroyed. I mean, I understand you got to cut some stuff, but... Thank you, federal government. Wow. Rabbits surviving this stuff, and when you cut it, and you're trying to make a habitat for them, it only makes the predators like the hawks, the bobcats, the coyotes, the foxes, and everything able to get them easier. And it's getting harder and harder to find good rabbit hunting places these days. And uh, this is one of the reasons why, I mean, people just don't understand that do this. They don't understand they're killing not just one or two rabbits, but rabbits breed pretty quickly. So when you kill one, you're killing about 10. And so, yeah. And you're probably saying, well, if they breed so quickly, they'll repopulate again. That doesn't work that way. They'll move out of that area and they won't come back. Like, I mean, we've jumped some down over that way, but just makes it harder on rabbit hunters like us and other people at rabbit hunt because we're all trying to find a place to hunt but we don't like to hunt over hunt a place our theory is we like to hunt one place once and then that's it 
and we come back the next year and hunt it again. This place, we only hunt it once a year and that's it. We'll be back here in 365 days again. It just makes it hard because we enjoy eating rabbit, but we enjoy watching this right here. And what y'all have seen, just watching the dogs open up and those of y'all who hunt with dogs, you understand. It's just fun to watch them hunt. That rabbit's so much smarter. It just really breaks your heart. Folks, this right here is what it's all about. It's about taking a younger generation hunting and introducing them of the ways of how you were brought up. And it's also just spending that quality family time uh, with the ones you love. Uh, because I know when I was a kid, I look back at it now and I value it so much more than money or anything that you could buy. And I'd go back in time, I'd almost give anything just to get that again. So doing this is absolutely amazing because Bowman, he'll remember this for the rest of his life as well. And all the rest of the hunt will continue that will do. Yeah. Yeah. You got her. There you go. Good job. Probably well, we hunt beagles instead of hounds, right, Bo? Yeah. Beagles are little. We pick them up. Hard to pick up big old hounds, ain't it? Yeah. All right, can you get them rabbits out of my back, Mom? Yeah. And three. Three rabbits for each, one for each of us. Yeah, you can give the rabbits to, some, to someone else in the family. I don't really like a rabbit that much. You don't like rabbit? No, Boy, no. I do. Well, y'all, we got them back here at the house. I already got them skin out. I'll uh, I'll do another tutorial on how we do this. There's two different ways you can do it. You can skin them from the back. A lot of people do it the same way as you do a squirrel, or you can skin them how we do, and you just put them up almost like a deer or a bear. You would just put them on a nail, and then you just pull it down. A rabbit's the easiest thing in the world to skin. So we're gonna get these things up now in the kitchen and uh, have us a little catch and cook for y'all. 